Hey guys, Philip Homister here, and today I'm going to show you how to remove chromatic aberration in Lightroom. And uh, if you don't know what chromatic aberration is, uh, this is a photo that I take straight out of the camera. If you've got a dark contrast over a light contrast, you'll get this uh, chromatic aberration usually. I'll just zoom up here to show you. So you see this purple fringing around the boy's head and around the, the horse. You'll have to forgive me, I'm getting over a cold so my nose is clogged. <laughs> this is actually really easy to remove. Um, also, I've got a branch up here that I, I would normally just remove the whole branch, but I'm going to use it as an example for the, uh, sometimes the chromatic aberration is green, sometimes it's purple, sometimes it's kind of blue. So uh, in this case, I've got some purple down here and I've got some green up there, so I'm going to use those as examples of how to remove this. So let's go over to the p panel here and slide on down to lens correction um, on manual here. Uh, and you've got this area here, the defringe, and you've got a purple amount and you've got a green amount. If you just pull the purple amount over to about a five, it will completely remove that chromatic aberration. Of course, it might be more or less for your photo. Um, if, if you're moving it over and it's, it's not removing it completely, you might have to change the hue. You can just drag this whole thing over a little bit or you can grab one end and pull it over. Uh, so if, it's, if it's more on the blue side, you could probably you could move this over to where it's more blue and uh, it'll get rid of that. So let's go ahead and go up to the branch over here and see it's green. So we'll go to the green slider and we'll move it over to about a five. And it's completely removed that, uh, that green chromatic aberration. And of course, same thing, you've got this green hue slider down here that you could move around if you needed to. So anyway, that is how you remove chromatic aberration in Lightroom. It's pretty easy. Um, so uh, yeah, that's how you do it. Subscribe if you, uh, so you'll be notified as new tutorials are coming out. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.